Charts are great for displaying data in your infographic, and they're very easy to do when you're using Google Slides. We're going to go to Insert and choose Chart, and I'm going to choose a column chart. Here's my chart. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're dealing with. I'm going to move it down to where I want it and shrink it up a little bit. What it's showing here is just generic data. This is not my data that I want. So what I'm going to do in order to be able to alter this is to choose in the upper right hand corner the drop down and say open source. This is going to open a spreadsheet that is created by your form, by your slide. And here you'll see the chart and the data that's creating the chart. What I want to do is just click on this and sort of move it out of the way. My data is going to show something a little bit different than what you see here. Mine's going to show, I'm going to double click on this so I can do Now I need to change my data. So what I've done is I've put the body parts that are most affected by injury. Shoulders, back knee, lumbar region, etc. I've put that here and now I can see immediately how it's changed on my chart. Now my original chart only had four. I have five and that's okay. It's just added it here. My data doesn't have two comparative data so I'm just going to delete everything from this column and only put my data here. And this is going to be number of studies. And my data shows seven and one. All right, so now I have my shoulders, back, lumbar region, everything has my data in it. Now, if I choose my chart and double click it, it's going to open my chart editor. This is where I can choose the background color, the border color, etc so that I'm using similar fonts and similar coloring to what I've got in my infographic. My series is blue. I'm going to change that to the same dark blue I've been using just so it matches. And there's my chart. So once I have this looking the way I want it inside this area here, all I need to do is close this tab and now come back in and choose the update button. And now my chart is updated.